Fast food breakfast, the Pacers future and flying cars. I'm Justin Mack and this is The Drop. Well, we are in the golden era of fast food breakfast and the Indy Star's Joe Tamborello has put together the definitive list of the top 10 fast food breakfast items. Now it includes longtime favorites like the sandwich and the Egg McMuffin, as well as newer hits like the AM Crunchwrap and the top ranked Qdoba Chorizo Breakfast Burrito. Not making the list are other popular fast breakfast choices like eating cold pizza while standing at the fridge, sunglasses with a side of Advil, and rushed coffee topped with profanities while you sit in traffic on I-65. Well, the Pacers season is over after being swept by the Cavs in a hard-fought series, and now there are tons of questions about the future of the team. Will Nate get the boot? Will Paul George stay? What is the future of Pacers basketball? Now, keep in mind, this loss comes just more than a week after Pacers owner Herb Simon said he wants to make major changes to Bankers Life Fieldhouse. And one idea that the drop has heard being kicked around is a new special jumbotron dedicated to postseason Pacers play that'll be nothing more than a big black screen. And finally, manufacturers from around the world are doubling down on flying cars, and some are already taking pre-orders. There's a Dutch company that's taking deposits for its car that requires a runway and a pilot's license. There's also a Massachusetts company that's working on something that lifts off the ground vertically, Jetson style. Even Uber is hosting an Elevate conference on the topic this week. So yes, flying cars, because those self-driving cars were such a slam dunk. That's it for The Drop. I'm Justin Mack.